going on guys welcome back to another video don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe uh, but this week is a little bit different just for main lifts and then the variations are gonna be four by five instead of like last week was three by five uh, so just adding an extra set and then the accessories this week are five by twelve just like last week uh, but this week felt very very good um, that added set for my main lifts and variations had little to no effect on like the weight I could push this week which is very exciting because that just means I am getting stronger at those lifts so really really exciting I'm happy how this week went um, but that's going to end this commentary right now and I'll catch up with you guys in just a second on my sumo deadlifts I've actually switched my grip to a mixed hook grip so my right hand is actually where instead of my thumb being over the bar it's behind it uh, and then my left hand is just grabbing it like normal so it when I held the bar regularly like with my thumb wrapped around it with my right hand it would just hurt really bad and hit against my thigh so kept trying to play around with it and I think this mixed hook grip is going to be the one that I use. I'm going to keep trying to do um, both of them overhand on next week and hook as well. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but I really did like how I felt with this mixed hook, hook grip. I uh, just felt really comfortable and this is by far the best Sumo has felt uh, during this like several weeks that I've been trying it out so each week I'm getting more and more comfortable with it and it's exciting because it could be something that could play a big factor um, into whether I continue to do sumo or go back to conventional I do think my next meet for sure I'm gonna do conventional but if sumo keeps getting better and better and eventually I lift more with it versus my conventional and then definitely gonna have that conversation with Justin and see which one is best for me to use um, but again we'll keep playing with it we just started with it so nothing major just wanted to give you that update on my grip and why I'm using it probably from here on out so yeah makes the grip if you haven't tried it try it out on sumo might surprise yourself you might like it some you might hate it but at least try it so uh, that's going to conclude this commentary for this day, uh, and I will be back with you guys in just a second.
taking care of her this weekend. She's a beautiful, beautiful, sweet pit bull. Oh, now she's going to the bathroom. But, just walking her around. Uh, she's going to be my partner in crime the next couple days. And Birdie, but <laughs> and take care of her. Her parents are out at Disney World. Lucky. But, yep. She's so cute. She's so sweet with people. Alright, what's going on? Uh, Brody and I are going to the dog park. There he is. They're going to have um, a play date with uh, Kona and Brick. So, I know I've had them on the channel before, but they're cute little puppies. Uh, one's a, a little French bulldog. And then Kona is, I think, like a mini Aussie Shepherd. I don't know. She's really beautiful, though. So they're gonna have a lot of fun. And this is the first time since Brody has had his little episode of whatever that was. His, he was completely fine the next day. Like literally 24 hours later, just back to his normal self. So and he's, he's pretty chill right now. Uh, so we'll see how he does at the park. If anything, um, like I see that comes up with his back or just him starting to feel bad again. Uh, definitely take him out and then um, head home. But yeah, they'll have some good play time. He's been itching to have play time. He's been having so many zoomies in the house, so definitely need something, an outlet for you. Right, buddy? You're so tired. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's going to take a little quick nap in the car. This place is about 40 minutes away from us, but we'll get there as soon as we can. Alright, back with the commentary. Um, this more so than the actual bench part, I'm just really proud of how much my arch, even though it's still a baby mini one compared to other powerlifters, has gotten a little bit better. You can kind of see under me where there's separation from the, pa the pad and me, so super, super excited about that. Bench was okay today. Um, it was more touch and go versus a pause, uh, but still happy I could get 185 for four sets of five that's never happened and slingshot has a lot to do with it but also i do feel really strong lately in bench so just super excited with that and uh incline went well i did add a little bit to it just two and a half on each side um but other than that this day was really really good um and one thing i did want to add is that these pauses and tempos that i have been incorporating into training for this cycle have really I think just been insane like I feel so much tension and stress in the body part that we're working on uh, so for later in this day it's machine chest press and honestly I feel like this will make a huge difference in the strength that I gain and just the power honestly because uh, it's kind of a gut check where I can't lift as much as I would normally lift but I know in the end with all of this tempo and pause and just the slow and controlled movements, it will translate very, very well to my main lifts. So really looking forward to that. If you guys haven't added those into your training program, I highly, highly recommend that you do, or just feel it out for maybe several weeks, see if you like it, and then if you do, well, add it in there. So um, that's pretty much it. And again, I always change my bicep and tricep each day. Uh, I use one of my favorite, all-time favorite bicep moves um, this day where instead of leaning on the curve or using the curved part of like the preacher curl pad, I use the straight side and just lock in my elbows and my arms are completely like dangling on the other side, just straight and locked in. Like I can't move at all. Um, and I just feel the biggest... Uh, just stress and emphasis on my biceps when I do that. Uh, so I love that one. I'll keep adding it in there every here and there, like every other week, uh, just because I do love it so much. So but that's all I wanted to say. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.